Liana Telfer, widow to Andrew Telfer, one of the owners of the Nine Gates of the Kingdom of Shadows. She's beautiful, wealthy, and just a little crazy. But is there more to the smoking woman who leads a coven of the occultists? We take a closer look at Liana Telfer, including one interesting theory about her character and the lore of witchcraft. The Ninth Gate, directed by Roman Polanski, released in 1999, and loosely based on the novel The Club Dumas, written by Arturo perez Ruberti. In chronological order, we get a first obscure glimpse of Liana, with a picture of her on Andrew Telfer's desk moments before his departure into the afterworld. Yet, deliberate or not, the picture is distorted, capturing a moment of time outside the wishes of its subject. We first see Liana when Dean Corso visits her. Her scenes come immediately after a close-up of one of the engravings of a knight valuing silence. Liana descends from a staircase, dressed in black, briefly underneath a pair of horns. Her greeting to Corso is mute. She is very patient before saying her first word. Liana speaks in two rooms and couldn't act more differently. In her parlor, she sits. Liana isn't completely honest about her husband's opinions about the book and acts casual over the story it was Andrew Telfer's book to sell to Balkan. In her husband's library, she stands and seems to exhibit power and energy even when retelling how her husband was found by the housekeeper. Even in his death, there was distance between the two. But one thing is consistent, her lies and deception. The more power she feels, the more comfortable and elaborate are her falsehoods. In leaving Liana's mansion, Corso gets a glimpse of Liana's always present or nearby bodyguard named Bruno in the script. He keeps watch. We see her again when she pays Corso a visit in her vain attempts to get her husband's book back. She takes a seat. Once again, Liana isn't completely honest about her husband's opinions about the book. Taking a smoke of Black Devils, she tries bargaining for the book from Corso, instead relies on seducing him. Outside, one brief moment where the two stand and kiss, Liana prefers to be on the couch where she feels most comfortable living lies. But Liana would show another, more sinister side. When Corso does not and cannot hand over the book to her, Liana's voice is more monster-like, and she relies on her claws and teeth in her attack. She smashes a bottle over Corso's head out of spite. What we learn most about Liana is what we are told by Baroness Kessler. In the film, she tells Corso Liana comes from an aristocratic but penniless family. She married Andrew for his money and used his wealth to rebuild her chateau and buy the Book of the Nine Gates. But the script shares Liana comes from a family that has long practiced witchcraft. We visually see this portrayed when Liana leads her coven of bored millionaires and celebrities. After Corso is confronted by Bruno, he's confident Liana is nearby. With the help of the hotel staff, tracks Liana to her hotel, where she is dressed in black again, with Bruno standing at her side. Corso and the girl follow Liana to her chateau and break into her bedroom and reclaim the Balkan copy, albeit momentarily. Liana, while standing, becomes more forthright about the origin of the book that it was her husband who gave it to her. However, Bruno comes to her rescue. As Liana goes to lead her coven, Bruno leads Corso and the girl to their graves until Corso surprises him and has him tumble down the stairs like a pair of dice and smashes his face with a shoe. Meanwhile, Liana begins her ceremony in front of her devout followers. When Boris Balkan enters the room, he too gives incantations. Mumbo Jumbo. Mumbo Jumbo. He reclaims his book. The Telfer copy, once again, becomes the Balkan copy. The book is out of reach of Liana again, and she attacks Balkan using her claws, as described by Kessler, like a creature. But Balkan shows almost superhuman strength, easily pushes Corso aside, 
Balkan invokes Liana's family name, San Martin, putting an end to her family and their witchcraft. Before we get to my theory about Liana Telfer and witchcraft, like, share, or subscribe if you enjoy this content and want to see more like this one. Liana Telfer is a more grounded representation of a modern day witch. She literally leads a coven of occultists. Liana is always dressed in black, speaks in tongues, and has a more evil side, closer to the Wicked Witch of the West type evil. One piece of folklore regarding witches of European origins include witches and sorcerers having supernatural assistants who would act as servants and provide protection. They are called familiar spirits, or simply familiars. In popular culture, they are often depicted as animals, more likely than not, black cats. But they can also be very human, and in the Nine Gates, Liana Telfer's familiar comes more in a metaphor as Bruno, her bodyguard. The film does not give him a name, and he barely speaks any dialogue. He is little more than a shadow, a projection of Liana's will in material form doing her bidding. Her familiar shows power and effectiveness when the two are near, but apart, he has vulnerabilities. We see him away from Liana twice, each time resulting very badly for him. Let me know in the comments below, what are your opinions of Liana? Modern day witch or gold digging crazy woman? This is Mr. G of Synergy saying, when it comes to protecting rare million dollar books, don't get caught with your pants down or you might end up with an awful headache. Make sure to check out other videos on my channel. Thanks for watching.